I'm Lois Beaver, and today we are going to be decoupaging a mug. Now I've done that a little bit earlier actually, and so this is kind of like the end result of what it's gonna look like. All you have to do is take an old piece of material, some Mod Podge, and of course, your handy dandy paintbrush and a pair of scissors. Now, once you've got your mug in place and everything, all we need to do is make sure that we somewhat measure, you can get a ruler and everything if you need to, and start to cut it out. So, let's take this, we'll cut our material, and we'll get going. Now, as you can see, you can take any type of material. You could even actually use napkins to coloring pages that your kids have created for you. Anything that you want to do that's kind of like a keepsake, and then you always have extra fabric left over that you can use any other time. And then once you've got that, you just take your handy dandy Mod Podge. All I'm gonna do here is if you find a container that you could put the Mod Podge glue in, or like I just do, I just use the lid. You're gonna add a little bit in just like that. And then once you've got it in, you're gonna take your paintbrush and you're just gonna take and paint along the mug. Get a pretty good layer on. And then once you've got quite a bit on, you could put your first bit of fabric. If you're working with kids, you don't wanna go too far with it. So you always wanna make sure that you have enough glue for each area. And like I said, the material kind of stretches out. So we'll just get that placed. And once we've got all that done, stretch it out just like that. And I'm gonna glue the rest of this and then we'll come back. So now that we've got our entire mug covered, what we're gonna do is the handle part. As you can see, we've got a section here that's uncovered. And so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut strips and everything in. So you're gonna take your scissors. Hopefully you've got some safety scissors at home. These ones are not safety scissors really, especially if you're working with kids. And you're basically just gonna make sure that you cut a section and everything to go over top of your handle and then a section to go underneath very bottom. So once you've got that, you're going to continue to take your glue over top here and in the center and everything here. You can basically take your entire mug here once it's all finished. Let it set to dry for about an hour. Best results and everything, you can leave it overnight once it's all completely dry because it does have a sticky feel to it if you don't leave it long enough. This one here has been sitting here for probably about three hours now throughout the day and it's got rid of all of its stickiness and stuff so you can start to do things with it. You can add your pencils in it. You can even put your scissors and stuff like that in it. You can do paint brushes, you could do change, anything you want to in your mug. But like I said, if you want to use this, I wouldn't recommend drinking out of it because you do have that fabric around and it's just not that great for all those types of things. So make sure you use your Mod Podge mug. Or you could use a glass of some sort if you wanna make something really nice for your office. You can do anything like that. I'm gonna do a tiny layer and everything around the top of the mug here so that it's finally set. And then once you've got all that in place, you're pretty much done. So, there you have it, like I said, let your kids go out and play for about an hour and everything afterwards while that dries. And then you've got your fine decoupage mugs ready to go. That leaves us all for today. So we'll see you again on Thursday. We're gonna be making some stuffed mushrooms. So make sure you stay tuned for that.